and welcome to today's training video. My name is Terry and we're going to be covering how to use SMTP features in Printer's Plan along with the HTML templates that are now included. Starting off, you're going to open Printer's Plan and you're going to make sure the email SMTP functionality is activated by going to your settings tab under general settings and SMTP settings. Here you'll see a checkbox enabling the feature, enable SMTP, and you'll need to make sure your information is filled in here as well. You need the email username, the password, and as well as your server information, your SMTP server, your IMAP server, and the outgoing ports for SMTP and IMAP. If you're not familiar with the server information, you can try a web search, and if that doesn't help, contact your email provider, or if you have an email admin in your organization, you can contact them and they should be able to help you. Once you have that information entered and we're using it, we can go ahead and place a test uh, order email by selecting a job, clicking print, and then we're just gonna do an invoice and email PDF. It's gonna ask me where to save it. We're gonna save it in my invoices folder and we're gonna send it to the buyer who ordered this job. So here we are, we have our attachment for our invoice. We have our plain text template being used to create this email. And we're gonna update that to use a HTML template on this video. So by default, Printer's Plan has a folder in the Printer's Plan folder called email, where all of the email templates live. And this is where you can go to update these invoices templates. So if I wanted to update my plain text template, I could just select invoice and edit it there and save it. There's also some defaults for other email templates for HTML templates, but there isn't one for invoice by default. And that's why we're going to make one. So we're going to go ahead and uh, start off by going to our knowledge base because we have an article about this, support.printreach.com and there's no prior HTML knowledge needed. You just need to know where to find the resources. So I'm gonna type in printer's plan, HTML, email, some keywords that'll get us where we need to go. And in the top results, using, creating, and editing email templates, HTML templates. And this is a written guide that's covering everything I'm gonna talk about here today. So before we get started, I recommend getting a tool or an app called Notepad++. This is an image of it here. It organizes the information on the templates a lot better so you can see what is HTML code and what's plain text, allowing you to make changes a lot easier. Notepad++ can be found, it's a free program. Just do a search on your favorite search provider and it should come up with the downloads page as one of the top results. Once you have that installed, we can go ahead and open up the WYSIWYG editor, which is where we're actually gonna create our template. And WYSIWYG, it just means what you see is what you get. It'll allow us to enter plain text and get HTML out of it. So the one I have linked on the article here is what I have open now. And you can see I've actually already just pasted our plain text template in here. And this is the information that it's given us back. Just a little bit of formatting, nothing too crazy. So aside from that, if I click enter here, it's now converted this URL into a hyperlink. So we can add hyperlinks to our templates too, just by typing in the website and it should automatically recognize it. If I wanna add an image to this template here, I could just go to a locally, or I'm sorry, a publicly hosted image file, such as one on our website. And I've got our website open here, printreach.com. And I'll just copy this logo here. Copy image, paste. It pasted in there, and it's real big, so I'm gonna shrink it down so it fits in my email template. There we go, it's looking a lot better. So now I have the basic formatting and layout that I wanna use and I wanna create a template out of this. What I'm gonna do is 
um, open up Notepad++. And then I'm just gonna paste this information into the Notepad++. Before I do that though, the subject line here needs to be recognized by printer's plan. So what I need to do is some light modifications to the left-hand side, and I'm just gonna remove these paragraph tags. That's to avoid any formatting errors when it's actually pulled into printer's plan. So now I just copy all of this, right click copy, open up Notepad++, paste it. And you can see that it's pasting as just regular text. There's no coloring or anything yet. It doesn't know that it's HTML formatted yet. But when I save it, file, save as, I'm gonna name it invoice, because naming conventions are important for this uh, template formatting. And then I'm gonna save it to my printer's plan directory where I want it to live. And then finally, the save as type setting, I'm gonna save it as an HTML document. So hypertext markup language file, .html. Once I have all that stuff done, it's gonna convert it to HTML because now it knows it's HTML coded. You can see all the code has been color shifted and all the straight text is still just black and it's saved. So now we have a template in our directory for invoice. Now all we need to do is test. And I'll go back to printer's plan. I'll use the same job as an example. Print, the workflow hasn't changed. Invoice, and then I'm gonna select email PDF. So now it's gonna generate the PDF. It's gonna ask me where to save it. Then it's gonna ask me to send it to the buyer who ordered this job, yep. And now you can see we have our HTML formatting. It's got our image on here and it's got our hypertext link on here. So this is the basics for how you create and edit um, HTML templates. If you have any questions about this process, please reach out to our support team, support at printreach.com, and we'll be happy to answer any questions. Thank you for your time and you have a great day.